Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and Sony PlayStation 4. Last time we continued on through the Forest of Fallen Giants, and we actually made progress, and we beat the uh, first boss of the area, the last giant. Uh, and uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good for us. Now today our goal is to go find some of these locked doors and take care of those. Um, we are going to want... Actually, in this version of the game, you don't need it as much, I think. But lighting the torch is probably not a bad idea. Just so we can see some stuff here. If you're not human, if you're if you're not fully, uh, if you've died at any point and you haven't used a human effigy, you probably want the torch for this part, uh, just because you won't be able to see very well otherwise. <clears throat> Take care of you, and right through here. I want to accept the light, <coughs> and I'll put it away now. You. There we go. And armor that I don't use. Alright, let's go ahead and head on through here. Soldier key, awesome. Now, there might be a summon sign down here. Yeah, right there. That summon sign will be actually quite useful for this area. I highly recommend getting him. Ruined Alphys. He is a shade, but he will help out quite a lot for several reasons. He's a sorcerer, and he has the cast light ability, which means you don't gotta light the torches yourself. Fantastic. And as we come down here, yeah, there's uh, skeletons. Kill the skeletons, they're gonna die. We're gonna be happy. He's gonna cast Soul Spear, which I think he has a pretty decent amount to use. So, yeah, it's a bit more than what we need to kill these guys with, but it's completely welcome. Yeah, not, for, not so much for the damage that he does, just the fact that he brings the light, so you don't have to um, bring your own. Okay, the torch went out. I think there was another item back here. Uh, they don't actually glow in the dark as much as I thought they did, so they're... Or at least that one right there, didn't it? Black fire bomb, homeward bone. Uh, black fire bombs are the same thing as uh, previous. They're stronger than regular fire bombs, so good stuff. And yeah, that's the entire area with the light, uh, with the torch right there. So, if you didn't bring him along, well, you'll survive. Or you could just fall off the edge like a jackass. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. We'll do this the, uh... The harder way, then. Fair enough. I'm not going to waste a human effigy right now. Usually I'll use a human effigy after I died, like, three or four times. And I'm actually noticing the health drop. But, for right now, we're good. Right, you're dead. Not going to bother fighting those guys over there. Let's go ahead and light the torch and start again. See, I don't. You, you can uh, you can defend at the torch, and then L2 does a little attack, but it doesn't do a whole lot, so I'm not terribly worried about it. I don't think it does anything to these guys really either. So I will go back to power stancing. And we will erect the Skelebros. Who are also doing their version of Power Stance, it seems like. So good for them. Alright, uh, let's relight the torch. 
pop the Estus real fast, or the life gem. You'd think there'd be like a hidden wall right here, but no, it's just the, the little area where the torch is. I forgot you hit these guys as they're standing up, so that is helpful. Uh, the, the, the upside to lighting the torches while you're down here is they're going to stay lit forever. So if you have to come back down here again later, the torches are permanently lit, so that's nice. Allergy skulls, those would be useful for a boss fight, actually. Actually, they could be useful for two boss fights, now that I'm thinking about it. We have about an hour left on our torch, but still, put it away to conserve it. There would be some areas where you do want to have the torch out for a long period of time, so, yeah, conserve your torch usage. It's not a massive deal, but it is there. Alright, so... You... Uh, you're gonna shoot stuff at me. Not a big fan of it. I wasn't power stancing. Huh. Go through here. I'm stuck on the wall. You had. These guys have very long jumps, it seems like. It's really weird. Alright, they jump at you from a pretty decent distance away. The human effigy, neat. If I wanted it, I could use it. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about it. Now, this area coming up is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. One, you got a turtle knight right here. And yes, they can make it through the door. Takes too long to roll away from that uh that L2 right there. There you go. Kill him. I don't know why these ones give so much less than the uh the ones downstairs. That's weird. But if we go up here, here's where the real fun starts. There's the Turtle Knight, and there's another Turtle Knight, and yeah, there's like three Turtle Knights. And they're all just as powerful as, you know, every other turn we fought, so they will cause problems if you're not careful. And yes, they respawn. So if you want to kill these guys for their soul, go for it. But 300, eh, not a huge number, sadly. If I could knock this stun for like 3 seconds every time they attack, that'd be great. And there we go. Yeah, if you bring Alphys along, he'll be happy to help you uh, magic these guys into oblivion. But if not, these guys are a much more pain in the ass for melee. Uh, casters can at least um, have them drop down, and they'll group up by that door, and they'll stand there, and you can throw spells at them. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring Alphys along. I'll pop an effigy. But first, I want to get past the skeletons. That way, we don't waste any time on them. Because he'll be very helpful for dealing with those bastards. They're not, they're not easily staggered is one of the problems. Um, yeah, I think you can stagger them, but they have like... I think they have a really good poise. So... Basically, you're going to try to get your attacks off... You'll get a few attacks off, like we're, like we're seeing here, and then uh, they'll just hit you through. They'll hit you through your attack, basically. Okay, you need to calm down there, fella.
Oh, jeez, guy. They sit there. They sit there on their animations for forever in this game. It's, I, I get it. It's a balance thing to make sure you know you're not just sitting there popping uh, an item and just being invincible for it. But some of the animation is some. Some of the animations of the game do take their sweet, sweet, sweet time. Alright, what'd you drop? You dropped a falchion, which I already bought. So, okay, fair enough. Alright, yeah, I do want to summon this guy just for, just for the fact that uh, he'll be helpful against the, the turtles there. So, I don't think they're actually turtles, by the way. I think the armor just makes them look like turtles. I've been calling him Alphys. His name is Aphlis. I think Alphys sounds better, but whatever. Now, if I could not fall off the edge this time like a like an idiot, that'd be fantastic. Alrighty, good stuff. Now, he might he might target this guy for me. Al Aphlis, you wanna help me out here, bud? No. Okay, you could not target him. That works too, I guess. So, let's get ready for the ambush with the fucking Kobe jump. Oh, you followed me down here. Well, uh, they don't always follow you down that ladder, but it is a possibility. Actually, they don't follow you down that often, really. And we just got unlucky, I think. There you go. Alright. He is done. Yeah, usually they don't follow you down like that. We just got uh, the luck of the draw there. Oh, he followed... Oh, okay, he didn't jump down. He followed us from this direction. I got you. I got you. This guy. Not a huge problem, but he's there. Attack him. Alphys. You. Attack him. The guy with the bow. Hey. Get him. He has no intention of attacking the guy with the bow. Even if the guy with the bow attacks him, he does not care. Okay, so... I want to do this right here. I want to go up here. Get these guys' attention. Let's go. And then they're all going to jump off right here, which is fantastic. If Alphys... Wants to join me over here, that'd be great. If not, well. Yeah, stuck on the uh, terrain there. Yeah, Alphys should eventually start attacking. And he will do lots of damage for us. And that'll be great. The problem is, he actually has to start attacking. And this area sucks because you might just end up falling to your death here. I don't know where he went. Yeah. It takes forever to get out of these frickin' animations. Come on, attack me. Attack me! Jeez. They take their sweet fucking time with their stupid turtle armor. Ugh. If I hadn't got stunned by their bullshit, we would have been fine there, but... Mm. Okay, I'm not going to summon Aphilus again, because he obviously decided he didn't give a fuck about what was going on there, so... One thing I will do, we're going to go back to Majula, and I'm going to go grab those crappy arrows, so I have some arrows, because I need some arrows. Uh, the Turtle Knights can't climb ladders, so bear that in mind.
for future reference. Yeah, these turtles are a pain in the ass, so just, if you're having problems with them, come back later. It's not something to be ashamed of. They'll cause problems, so just do what you can. Um, you know what? I'm just going to buy as many of these cheap arrows as I can, and we can just uh, talk to the fucking merchant. Get off the pool of blood, dude. Hello, game. Jeez, what the fuck is your problem? I want to buy more. There we go. I don't think it shows 120 in our inventory. I think okay, no, it does. No, oh, that's right. You can hold. You can hold like 900 arrows. I forget. I was thinking 99 was max, but that that'll be useful for you know sniping the turtles and the asshole with the bow uh, for. For one, the guy with the bow is not going to do damage to us. And for two, we can get all the turtles on the ground, and then we can go ahead and climb up the ladder where they can't climb, and then we can try to snipe them with the bow from there. It still might be a giant pain in the ass to deal with, and I might just come back later when I have more health, because that's uh, a good strategy. But at the same time... You know, if you want to attack me, like not at the speed of slow, that'd be great. This guy takes forever to come after you, which is a real pain in the ass. This guy, yeah, if you try to just attack the guy that you see originally right there, this guy will eventually wake up and come bother you, so that's why I try to go after him first. But today, I messed up, and it didn't work out that way. I think if you go through the door, this guy will wake up. So, let's get him down. You took your sweet time waking up. Come on, dude. Alright, you. And Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, I don't think they're power stancing, but they're definitely dual wielding. So they have like a different uh, falchion move set than we do somehow. Which is cool for them. It's a shame that we can't get access to it, but whatever. Okay, like a eight hit combo, come on. There you go. And pop another life gem. Make sure our bow is on there. Yeah, not anywhere near as strong as the uh, the good arrows, but they get the job done, eventually. Alright, uh, Mr. Turtle Knight is way over there. I think we can start damaging him enough right here. As you can see, he's very durable. And our stamina runs out, so that's not the best. Actually, we can fight him in here, and this will work out pretty good. Okay, I thought I dodged that, but apparently I did not, so good to know. They have just enough range with that giant ass mace that it's a bit of a problem sometimes. Not all the times, but sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I can actually tag any of these idiots to fight them. It'd be nice if we could, but I don't think we have the, uh, the range for it. We might be able to hit one from down here. Right here, this is that item that we saw. Um, 
There's, there's that root. Hey, fuck off, guy. I'm trying to explain something. Yeah, that's where that root was earlier. Okay, we might be able to... I don't think hitting his weapon is going to do anything. Not quite. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that guy came from over there. I don't I don't even remember what we got, but I don't think it's anything good, so oh well. I think it was just I think it was just a soul, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't remember. It's nothing terribly great. I think all the uh, turtles fell down. I think so. And there's an invader here, Armor or Dennis. Armor Dennis is an asshole. He hurts. Uh, he hurts a lot. He has lots of spells. He's basically the guy that we just summoned, except uh, powerful. Uh, let's see, crack red eye orbs, some stuff. A whip. I don't know how. I, I've never actually tried the whips in this game, so they might be good. They might be a uh, less good. I don't know. All right, where is Armor Dennis? There he is. Yeah, he has some uh he has some very powerful powerful spells that I'd rather not deal with. Um hmm. If I can get him over here, that'd be great. But the problem is, the turtles will all come after me, too. And we're in a bit of a pickle. Okay, let's do this. Let's run past, ignore everything, including the turtles, because the turtles are not always worth fighting. And right through here, I think, is a bonfire. Yeah. So... Depending on who's followed me over here, we'll fight them. It's everybody. That's who followed me. Um, okay, the uh, turtles are backing off. I can deal with this. Now, if we can fight Mr. Mister Invader Man, that'd be great. Hey, asshole. Let's go. Uh, that is a soul, I think, great sword. It just creates a great sword. Out of souls, that does lots of damage. So, yeah, uh, Dennis here is of the caster variety. Uh, he has better spells than we have access to right now. You can get access to these spells eventually, but not by this point of the game. That's for damn sure. And he has okay. He has pretty decent uh, physical damage as well too. So, and that was Soul Spear, I think, right there. So, uh, yeah, this guy's a giant pain in the ass. I will say this area was much easier going through as a mage than it is going through as a uh, melee character, just because you can snipe the turtles significantly better, and it makes life much easier. Again, we might come back to Armor Dennis later, because he's going to pop up every single time you're here. Large Soul of a Proud Knight, and the Hunter set. So that's pretty cool. I think I think over here the turtles at least might not follow me. So that's nice. Yeah, that uh, soul great sword is rather powerful. So you want to watch out for it. I'm gonna let him come up here, and yeah, this might be my best chance to beat him. Is just uh, let him come up these uh, stairs and try not to get clobbered by soul great sword or soul spear. If he hadn't cast that soul spear right there, if we had managed to interrupt them, we would have got him right there. But uh, he did manage to cast it, and therefore we didn't get it. All right, and then he spawns in like this room right here, and there is an item right here. Uh, Uh, the item right there is the uh, soul of the tree of the giants, or the seed of the tree of the giants, uh, which is the thing that lets you uh, 
uh, makes it so that enemies are targeted by, or enemies will target invaders. So actually, could be useful down here. Okay, this is a much easier way to fight him, just because uh, the turtles aren't anywhere nearby, and uh, we can just kind of clob them. There you go, armor Dennis dead. We got 2,100 souls. Nice. We should get a human effigy out of that, I think. There we go. We can go back to being human, and then pick up the item. Yeah, seed of a tree of giants. So if we wanted to, uh, we could grab that, or if you had it as a starting gift, and then all the turtles would have attacked Armor Dennis, and that would have worked out rather well for us, actually. But, oh well. The point is, we got all the items, we killed him. I'm not worried about the turtles, because I'm just not. Okay. That should be good. Yeah, the turtles are only worth 300 a pop, so that's really not worth it, I think. Maybe this first one, just because he's right here. But other than that, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother with it. Especially if I get stuck in the wall. Luckily, they clear out the wall for you, so... You know, oh, there's more of them. Uh, I give up. Have mercy. I'm going back to Majula, and I'm raising a stat. I don't care what stat. It could be health, it could be dexterity, it could be something. We have enough to get, like, a level or two, so yeah, let's grab, like, a level or two here. Because a little tiny bit of health or a little tiny bit of damage would be uh, quite useful here. Uh, let's pop you, our soul of the proud knight. 3,000, nice. That should get us two or three levels, actually. Uh, it might get us three... Yeah, I think we have enough for three levels. So let's do that. Yeah, three levels with 900 left over. Awesome. So let's do a, a Vigor for 30 more health. Uh, we could do a Vitality for more um, Equip Load, but I'm not worried about Equip Load right now. Our Equip Load is fine. Uh, let's see, 86, oh, our weapons will go up by one each, okay, one each for the weapons, not perfect, um, if we get, we get two more for that, we give ourselves more stamina, hmm. yes, yeah, let's just give ourselves more dex for now, we'll get more health later. On my uh, mage character on uh, the PC version, I never went past 10 vigor, so... But I still have, like, I want to say, like, 1,500 health or something, so it's fine-ish. There we go. Got that. Uh... I think we have enough to level up one of our swords. I do. No, we need 10 souls. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Piggy, piggy. Uh, the, um... The skeleton in the basement does not respawn, so don't bother with him. I'm, I'm kind of curious if Kale's here yet. He might show up after we kill the Pursuer. I don't know if he's here yet or if we have to do that first. Goodbye, piggies. You die. And then you turn the delicious bacon. Alright. Piggy piggies are dead. Uh, they did not drop any cracked red eye orbs, so we can't evade anybody. I'm really curious if there's just anybody playing at all now. I, like I said, I know the PC version is basically a single player game right now until they turn the servers back on. But there should be some people online for the PS4 version. Uh, they, they might all be playing the PS5 version. I have no idea. So... Yeah, we just might not see anybody. Yep. Alright, so that'll take it up to 168. Nice. And another 12 after we upgrade it again. Fantastic. Uh, I think we're good on the arrows we have. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got one more point of scaling out of that. Oh, 
And uh, one more point of scaling on the bleed, too. So, there you go. Neat. I, I don't know if we've been actually proccing too much bleed on this. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, let's go see if uh, Kale is there. Kale, the cartographer. Uh, let's see how this goes for us. Uh, let's see. He's not going to be in here. He's going to be in the, the the room with the map. Because, well, he's a cartographer. And he cares about that big-ass map. The place is very cramped. Oh, he is here. Neat. Oh. Hello again. You've made it. The map, I presume. Of course. Take a good look. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Something essential. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes within. Did you see the flame on... It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something great. It seems to fulfill something very precious. Deep within the soul. Something... Uh, we'll, we'll come back to him at various points in the game, primarily after defeating some of those uh, four big bosses and stuff like that. And he'll have, like, uh, new dialogue and stuff like that. Um... You could attack him right now, but there's really no point to doing it, because I think if you kill him, you don't get his armor set, and he has a pretty good, at the very least, a pretty good uh, helmet. His helmet gives, I think, like one point of endurance and two points of dex. It gives something like that. I know it gives two points of dex. I'm not sure what the, uh, the solitary point is, but it's still pretty good. Um, actually, no, you, he might, you might get his uh, helmet just for killing him. But then he won't get the rest of his armor. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, one endurance, two dexterity. So, there we go. But if you go through his quest line, you eventually get like his entire armor set and stuff like that. So, we're not going to kill him because we're friendly like that. And killing people is uh, not cool, man. Not cool. He attacks you with the Uchi Katana if you do decide to attack him. So... Good luck. I mean, I don't think a Nuchigatana is, you know, like, the worst thing in the world to be attacked by, but it will attack you with it. So, here we go. Okay, we made a bit more progress through Forest of Fallen Giants. Uh, primarily, you know, uh, getting locked off behind that uh, turtle area. In the next episode, we'll continue on and probably get to the uh, boss and kill the boss. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. I'm gonna pop another effigy because okay, we have nine already. It's we have plenty. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.